Hey there, Internet! I'm your wannabe geek, Ali Keeves, and this week I watched a classic 1984 film for the first time. It's about a handsome hero on an adventure to save his friends from the clutches of evil. That's right, it's Gremlins. And this is The Geek Awakens. <laughs> Hey guys, when I was a kid, my older cousins showed me Gremlins and after five minutes, I got so freaked out that I couldn't watch it anymore and I haven't seen it since. So apparently there are three rules to owning a Furby. Number one. Oh, Ali, I, I think it's, it's actually called a Bagua. Mm, I don't think so. There are three rules to owning a Furby. Number one, he hates bright lights, we know that. Uh-huh. But you gotta keep him out of the sunlight. Sunlight will kill him. Okay, but what about those compact fluorescent bulbs? I'm trying to go green in my apartment and Number I- Number two, keep him away from water. Don't give him any water to drink. Uh-huh. And whatever you do, don't give him a bath. Who allows an animal into their house that they can't wash? It's gross. And probably the most important thing. Yeah? Don't ever feed him after midnight. Just because Gizmo's a little pudgy around the midsection doesn't mean he needs a diet plan. Those are holiday pounds, okay? They'll be gone by April. Or May. Hey look, it's an 80s movie with Corey Feldman. So surprising. We miss you every day, Corey. I'm pretty sure Corey Feldman's still alive. Who show is this? Also, why is everyone acting like these little weird creatures are totally normal like they've seen them before? No reason to be alarmed. This is all stuff we see every day in nature. They have weird bat ears, they're small, they're furry, they can mimic what people say, they can follow things on TV, and I think it's weird that nobody else thinks it's weird. If my dog Matza started saying my name and harmonizing with my Casio keyboard, I would not think it was cute. I'd be on the phone with NASA, cause that's crazy. Gizmo is not a pet. He should be classified as a non-human person, like dolphins or Gary Busey. What is NASA's number, by the way? I want to put them in my phone. I think it's just 1-800-NASA. That sounds right. Wait, so if you get them wet, they have babies? Look, I'm not a biologist, but unless you're an amoeba or a fungus, you can't just reproduce asexually. Gizmo splits into five more Furbies with unique traits. One's kind of chunky, one has a mohawk, there's the dumb one. Anyone that took ninth grade bio knows you need two mating organisms to create genetic variation. Come on, 80s, put some science in your science fiction. <laughs> Mom just knifed a bunch of these little monsters. How is this a comedy? You go with your bad self, 80s mom. If my mom heard so much as a board creak upstairs, she'd be like, deuces, I'm out. No offense, mom, but you know it's true. Just finished Gremlins, and while I have no idea what I just watched, I thought it was fun. It was campy fun, but also there were moments that were really sad, like Kate's story about how her dad died in the chimney on Christmas Eve. Where does that even come from? And that's why this movie is so hard to pin down. Is it a horror flick? Is it a comedy? And if it's trying to be scary, was it only scary for 80s kids, or was it intended to be scary for 80s adults too? It kind of feels like a Christmas movie, except it was released in June. What fever dream was Chris Columbus having when he wrote a screenplay about slimy bat-eared killers that multiply in cocoons? Also, wasn't there another 80s movie about old people that find cocoons? What was that called? Cocoon. Mm, I don't think so. Because here's the kicker. This movie about murdery lizard goblins whose heads explode in the microwave is rated PG. Do you know what else is rated PG? Frozen. Anyway, the moral of the story is never get your kids a pet because they're irresponsible dopes and their animals will murder your whole town. Well, that's one more geek movie down, 12,894 to go. Thank you for watching The Geek Awakens. We are so glad to have you with us. If you enjoyed the show, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for future episodes. We love hearing from you, so let me know what you think of the show and what I should be watching next by leaving a comment. For now, I'm Ali Keeves, and I'll be geeking out here next week. I hope you'll join me.